everyone welcome back to my channel and today we're back mentioning wonders of the ancient worlds book so we're back at the page that we continued lastly that may that is the mausoleum of Nasalus. anyway let's skip the tomb part to the mausolos and artesima or artem Artemisia. Mausolus was the ruler of a territory called Caria from 377 BC until his death in 353. That means it's confusing. This page is confusing. Anyway, let's just continue it. Caria included the coastline to the north and south of Halicarnassus in the Ottoman Empire. Mausolus and Artemisia turned Halicar Halicarnassus into one of the greatest cities of the ancient world. When Ma Mausolus died, Artesima Artemisia was grave-stricken and employed the finest Greek architects and sculptors to build his tomb. It was completed three years later and was so beautiful that it became of this became one of the seven wonders of the world. Today, the word mausoleum is still used to describe a grand tomb. This is the grand tomb. Like, literally, it's so grand. It's so beautiful. This is an architectural masterpiece. The death of Mausolus. Artemisia missed Mausolus, so much that after his body was cremated, she sprinkled a pinch of his ashes into her drink every day. She died before the tomb was finished, and her ashes were, were buried alongside those of her beloved husband. And finally, after a long time finding a tribute for Hermes, Darius found this. A, fra a fragment of carpet. At night, in the markets near Borodum Castle, Castle, entertainers dance in costumes that sparkle in the lamplight, and traders sell the finest silk rugs. But this delicate fragment of carpet cannot serve as an offering to Hermes because the mausoleum is no longer. Oh, I thought this become the tribute for Hermes, but it's actually not. Anyways, crumbling ruins. In 404, a series of earthquakes damaged the pillars of the mausoleum so much. Anyway, that the structure came crumbling to the ground with only the base standing. It was a good as destroyed. The ancient city of Halicarnassus became known as Bordum soon after. Today, it was dominated by a castle built by the Christian Knights of St. John, who used stones from the ruined mausoleum to build the castle walls. Once I was thwarted, the wonder of the mausoleum was gone forever. I journeyed on in the hope that my luck would soon change and I would find a tribute for Hermes. Next, the Colossus of Rhodes, the or I call it the ancient Statue of Liberty. A fisherman offered to take me on a day's sail from Bodrum to the island of Rhodes in return for a small payment. We set up set off early and arrived just before dark. Even in the dimming light, there was nothing to be seen of the Colossus, the giant statue of the sun god, Helios, that once stood near the harbor entrance, and I wondered again if this journey was in vain. Helios, the sun god, finished in 280 BC. The Colossus was one of the world's original seven wonders however in 226 bc a massive earth 
earthquake brought it tumbling down. The Greeks worshipped Helios as the sun god, and he was also the patron god of roads. It was believed that Helios drove his sun chariot across the sky each sky each day from west east from east to west before plunging into the far ocean. Returning to the east to rise again next day. And kind of makes sense because it works like that, like almost. A statue of celebration. The Colossus was built following a war during which the city of Rhodes was under siege for more than a year. The attacking army had eventually been dry driven off, leaving behind a great many valuables. Some of these were sold and the prophets used to erect a mighty statue over 30 meters tall to celebrate Rhodes' freedom. Some say that the Colossus stood astride in the harbor entrance, but it was actually erected on land close by. So this is what they call the ancient Statue of Liberty. And in more uh, colossal statue of Helios. Okay. Construction. The Colossus was made from a shaped framework of iron bars covered with sheets of bronze. Most of the material probably came from melting down weapons that were captured following the siege. Scaffolding made from the siege towers was erected to reach the very top of the statue. The statue's legs were filled with stones up to the knees to make Helios stable, but obviously not stable enough. Okay, so many of us thought that Helios was in the entrance of the harbor, but actually it was in land, so we already knew that. Okay, the lighthouse of Alexandria. I spent a few days in Rome where I painted some of some harbor scenes, all of which I sold to a wealthy merchant. He arranged for me to sail on one of his ships bound for Alexandria in Egypt. I have found little success in my endeavors so far. I did not yet have any tokens for Hermes. Perhaps the great lighthouse of Alexandria would bring me a better fortune. The light house of Pharaohs. Alexander the Great began building the port of Alexandria in 332 BC. Where he died, died nine years later, one of his generals, Ptolemy, became ruler of Egypt and ordered a building of a 140 meter tall lighthouse to guide ships toward the port. A causeway was constructed out of the island of Pharaohs, where the lighthouse tower was built. The lighthouse became so famous that in many languages today, the word lighthouse is similar to the name Pharaohs. At the time, the only building in the world taller than the lighthouse was the Great Pyramid of Giza. Okay, so now this is the modern time, so we have Burj Khalifa and the signature tower in Indonesia. Anyways, the architect Sostratus. The lighthouse was built by a Greek architect called Sostratus, but Ptolemy forbade Sostratus from putting his own name on it. Instead, put, instead Ptolemy's name was carved in the plaster at the base. After many years, the plaster fell away to reveal Sostratus' name and a dedication to all gods protecting those upon the sea. The Citadel of Quait Bay. Sadly, the lighthouse no longer exists. It stood for almost 1,500 years until it was destroyed by a series of earthquakes in 1303 and 1322. In 1480, Sultan Al-Ashraf Quaid Bay 
used stone from its ruins to build a citadel or fortress on the same site. The citadel of Quake Bay still stands today, so we cannot see that beautiful one architectural wonder now because it was destroyed by an earthquake and now it's the citadel citadel of white bay so sadly it's already gone but we can still visit the citadel anyways thank you for watching guys and please like and subscribe